Hello Aries and welcome to your month ahead reading for the month of July. If this is your first time here, my name is Laura. I'm from babycurltarot.com. I am a root worker, tarot reader, and oracle reader as well. Um, so this is a collective and general reading for all my Aries, any Aries that may come across this video. Um, so keep in mind that not all messages will resonate for every single Aries out there. If you would like a um, personal month ahead reading, I do offer those and you can schedule a session with me on my website, which will be, excuse me, <clears throat> down below in the description box if you would like to connect with me there. Um, so please keep in mind, again, as a general reading, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. I have a saying about collective readings, if you have to force it, it's not for you, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and get started, yeah. Um, <laughs> we're going to start off with the Legendary Ladies Goddess deck um, for general energy on what my Aries may be feeling, experiencing for the month of July. Spirit, what messages do you have for my Aries people for the month of July? Whoa. Oop. Okay. So the first, oh, there's two of them. <clears throat> so the first ones that flew out was Durga, the goddess of boundaries. Okay, so setting boundaries may be really important for my Aries people this month. We also got Sedna, the goddess of cleansing. Okay, I'm already hearing um, removing some people or setting very strong boundaries with people. Um, kind of cleansing out your, <clears throat> your energetic field, your spaces. Um, wow. Okay. Aries, very powerful start. And you also got Inanna, the goddess of desire. Okay. So this is a month, Aries, I feel like where you are really stretching your, <clears throat> your powers in terms of what it is you want for yourself. The best, obviously. We all want the best for ourselves. And how do we do that? By setting clear boundaries, cleansing out um, our lives of toxic behaviors, habits, people. <clears throat> okay, and moving towards what makes you feel passionate and um, excited. Things that you actually want in your life. Oh, wow. Okay, powerful start already, Aries. Let's go ahead and jump into your tarot cards. Spirit, what messages do you have for my Aries people at this time for the month of July? What messages do you have for my Aries people for the month of July? Okay, we have the King of Pentacles in reverse already. Interesting. I don't do reversals with this deck, but since it came out that way... I'm going to read it as such. Okay, what's going on here? So we have the King of Pentacles reversed, which I already showed you. We also have the Ten of Wands. We have the Fool card. We also have the Ace of Swords. And the Page of Swords. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, you also got the Nine of Swords. Okay. Let me see here. I don't know why my throat is so scratchy right now, Aries. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I am getting a lot of stress and anxiety, maybe some sleepless nights, Aries. Maybe this is something you've been going through recently definitely is something on your mind that is weighing very heavily on you i'm also seeing this ten of wands as it feels like you are tired of carrying the burden of something you're definitely overwhelmed with these two cards here together you're definitely feeling overwhelmed by something Okay. I keep hearing people, especially with this boundaries card, it, it feels like you may be burdened by certain people's energies or, I don't know, maybe it's the way they talk to you. Mm. Putting limiting beliefs in your head with this king of pentacles in reverse.
I heard it's time to get rid of that lack mindset. The lack mindset. Okay, Aries, if you've been feeling a sense of lack in your life, I don't have enough money, I don't have enough um, resources to do certain things or whatever, whatever it is for you that comes up as a feeling of lack in your life. Um, it's time to let that go. <clears throat> okay. It feels like this is the weight that you've been carrying, this lack mindset, and it's time to let that go now. Okay. Only then when we drop all of those burdens of, I don't have this, so therefore I can't do this, is when we break free and we're able to really jump into a new path in life. And I do see that happening for you if that is something you want. Again, that's something that you have to be aware of, be conscious of and actively fight to change within yourself. We are very, very much taught things um, from the time that we are kids, from the people that we're raised by, from the people that we find ourselves growing up with, friends, family, neighbors, the way that they speak and talk about their lives and their circumstances sometimes is how we end up talking about our own lives and our own circumstances as we get older. We think that that's normal and it isn't necessarily normal. <clears throat> Changing your mindset can bring you um, greater abundance in any aspect of your life, but it's up to you to take that narrative of, I don't have this, I don't have that, and saying, changing it to something like, there are opportunities out there for me. I am more than capable of um, attracting these things to my life. I am more than capable of going after these things in my life and achieving success greater than I could have ever imagined. But it's up to you. I would um, highly recommend Googling um, changing your mindsets or changing the lack mindset. There's a lot of really great resources out there on how we can change our money mindset, our love mindset, all kinds of things. So definitely give that a Google whenever you can, especially if this is resonating for you. Excuse me. Mm-hmm. And this does have a lot to do with what the way you think. So I feel like there's going to be a big shift in the way that you think. Maybe surrounding money or stability, comfort. I just heard food. Maybe your diet, your health. Could be a big shift mentally for you this month in terms of how you go about attracting the things that you want instead of complaining about what you don't have or worrying about what you don't have shifting your focus onto what you do have and not only what you do have but what you are able to attract achieve and get okay and again page of swords this is um the student card the learner card okay this is someone who's going to be actively researching how it is that they can make the most out of this new mindset or this new outlook on life, okay? But I feel like all of this, these three cards are a result of you being tired of being stuck in this energy of constantly worrying, being stressed out, being upset, losing sleep, and releasing a burden of some kind, something that's very heavy, something that's been weighing on you for a long time, <clears throat> okay? Um, this may also um, have to do with you releasing people, like I said, putting boundaries, cleansing out the toxic energies in your life, um, letting people know that there's going to be certain things or ways that they speak that aren't going to be welcome around you anymore and moving towards what you actually desire. Okay, what is it that you desire, Aries? What is it that you want to learn about? What is it that you want to learn how to get? Are you going to take those steps? Wow. Okay, Aries. I love to see that. Let's go ahead and move on to the next Oracle deck, which is the Wisdom of the Oracle. Spirit, what additional messages do you have for my Aries people for the month of July? What additional messages do you have for my Aries people for the month of July? Okay. It's a lot. <laughs> Let's try again. Spirit, what messages do you have for my Aries people for the month of July? Okay, we got one. All that glitters. Okay, all that glitters. This can be a couple things for me. 
So obviously when we hear the term all that glitters, it's followed up by what? Ain't gold. Okay. So I'm torn here with this card. All that glitters ain't gold, but you know, sometimes going after what it is that you want can get you what you want too. Are you looking for what's easiest though? Or are you looking for a quick fix? Okay, that's what I'm getting from here. I just got that message loud and clear. Are you reaching for what's easiest or what's the shiniest opportunity? Or are you looking deeper at what it is you actually want and desire and what's going to last long term? Okay. What's going to last longer? <laughs> I just heard what's going to last longer, that nice Rolex or a house that you can put equity into and possibly make more money off of later down the line. Not that a Rolex, you know, can't be, maybe that was a bad example, but, um, you know, not saying that a Rolex, a Rolex can't appreciate over time, but a house is definitely, I think, a more solid investment. Investing in property in general is really a great idea. Um... But that's what I think Spirit wants you guys to think about is um, what are you investing your time in? What are you investing your um, energy in? Is it the get-rich-quick scheme or is it something that's going to appreciate over time and grow over time and last longer? Okay. At the bottom of that deck, you got the Fates. The Fates. So there's definitely some destiny involved here. Maybe this was destined for you to come across this video, for you to start Googling that change of mindset, how you can change your mindset, how you can make bigger and better opportunities for you. Okay. Whatever happens for you this month, just know that there was there is an opportunity for you to um, really make some big and beautiful changes for you. Okay. So it's up to you on whether you want to grab that or not. Let's move on to the tea leaf decks. Get some final messages for my Aries for the month of July. Okay, we got an older woman. Dealings or relationship with an older woman. Okay, come on. <laughs> I just got my nails done yesterday, so I'm still working out how to work with them. Dealings or relationship with an older woman. Interesting. Some of you may be an older woman. Some of you may be setting boundaries with an older woman. Okay. Some of you may be coming into contact with an older woman who can help you. Maybe change your mindset. Is there any final messages for my Aries? Any final messages for my Aries for the month of July? Any final messages for my Aries for the month of July? No. Okay, so you just got an older woman, the fates, and all that glitters. Very interesting, Aries. I am so sorry, Aries. I almost didn't see this one. Um, it just flew right under the radar. I didn't even see it. But you do have another tea leaf card, and it is the apple. Temptation will test you. What did I say about all that glitters? Are you reaching for the easiest thing to go for? Or are you going to go for what's going to make you happiest and most stable in the long run? All right, Aries. All right, my Aries people, if you enjoyed this reading, please give me a like, leave me a comment. Let me know if this resonated for you, how it resonated for you. I'd love to hear. Um, please also subscribe if you want to see more readings like this. I do monthly readings every month as well as weekly readings for all the signs. Um, if you'd like to connect with me on my other socials, and like I said before, if you want to get a personal reading to see just how this may or may not affect you and get a little bit of a deeper look into your month ahead, please go ahead and go ahead. <laughs> go ahead and go ahead. Okay, Mercury Retrograde has me repeating things over and over again. <laughs> go ahead and check out all the links down below in the description box, and you can reach out to me via those platforms there. Thank you as always for watching. I hope you have a great month of July and I will see you next time. Bye.